Hello everyone and welcome back to Nathrin Deer's Guide to Everything and welcome to an update on the Wizards OGL situation. So I actually already recorded this video but the timing was poor as uh, Wizards on D&D Beyond have just released a statement, an update about the open gaming license, backtracking on many of the things that were originally said. On the D&D Beyond homepage, you can find it just there in the center. They are sticking with the story that the initial ones were a draft and uh, they were just looking for feedback on those from uh, those close to them that should never have been leaked, etc. We all know really that they were probably trying to roll that out and it's just the backlash that has actually worked. We've actually made an impact. This community did something here, came together and said no, and it worked. Still though, they are committing to a new OGL. It just means that all content currently released under 1.0a, the original one, will still be fine to use and you won't have to change anything. What they are now saying is there will be obviously a new OGL. It will not contain any royalty structure and under any new OGL, you will own the content you create, which is massive. Um, the fact that they've backtracked on that, you know, they can't then just put it back in in secret terms and secret words afterwards. This means they have state now put a statement out saying, we will not do this, you own the content you create, which is great news for creators like me and those that are larger than me as well, of course. You know, they're saying they never wanted to steal work, but it didn't seem like that with that first draft. In the final thoughts, they're saying, you know, as we continue to invest in the game that we love, they have to protect their assets, essentially. They sign off with the statement, we love D&D's devoted players and the creators who take them on so many incredible adventures. We won't let you down. Please don't, because what you've done already is cause irreversible damage to Dungeons & Dragons, to Wizards as a whole company. This has changed and brought together the entire community. It proves that they don't deserve a community as good as the one that has been created. On that note, let's talk about some companies that do deserve this kind of community. So up first, we have Pezo who have come out and said, we will legally fight Wizards of the Coast if we have to, to maintain the open gaming license. On the back of that, they've created their own. They've created their new open RPG creative license known as Orc. All you need to know about this is, is what we want, what we need as a tabletop RPG community. And it seems like we can rely on them to make the right decisions around this. As noted, they're working with other publishers to preserve a prosperous future for open gaming that is both perpetual and irrevocable. We'll be there at your side. You can count on us not to go back on our word forever. Paizo Inc. Very similar to the words we've just read in that D&D Beyond post, don't you think? I wonder where they got the idea for that. One of those companies of a game that I've played before is Chaosium Inc. Big fan of their stuff. I've played Call of Cthulhu a couple of times. I think it's time to dust that off and get it back out again. And it's the perfect time to as well. This is not a paid advertisement or anything. This is just a promotion I spotted on their blog. You can actually get Call of Cthulhu and the RuneQuest starter set for 99 cents each. A PDF version granted. What more could you want? You can start playing these games today and I recommend you do so. Branch out from D&D, now is the time. So with that, I wanted to talk about what this means for me, what this means for the channel. Well, to be honest, I haven't made a video about this up to now because honestly, it just upset me too much. I think I was just avoiding it mentally. You know, my channel has just broken a thousand subscribers. I'm just starting to get some momentum with subs and everything else that comes along with that. I've made like four pounds in monetization. It's incredible to see something like that happen. This is like my live stream. This is what I would do. I want to be a DM, a GM. I want to be a keeper. I want to create. I want to make stories. I want to make a book. And all this did was just shatter my dreams, basically, this new OGL announcement. It seems like the community has made a positive impact though, which is fantastic. When I started this channel, the end goal was release Nathrin Deer's Guide to Everything, a source book of my own making with homebrew that me and my friends have designed together through our years and years of playing. And I couldn't be more excited to release something like that. And this whole situation really put a damper on that and I thought I might never get that opportunity moving forwards. Hopefully we have reversed that and I can still pursue that dream moving forwards. In the vein of supporting the rest of the community, I am on board with the hashtag OpenDnD. I have canceled my DnD Beyond subscription, which hurts me to the core. I spent so much money on that website, got all the source books, everything I needed to run games how I, you know, in the best way I thought possible. 
and it's just being basically spat back in our face with this new stuff. Uh, again, hopefully we've made a change to that uh, with the statement they've just released. But it is time we branch out on this channel, I think. I will try my best to start playing some of the systems, post videos on those systems, something uh, more generic about tabletop RPGs in general. I just wanted to let you know that I'm still here. I'm going to keep posting D&D content for now. And basically, we're just going to wait to hear even more back from Wizards of the Coast about what the next step of D&D's future is. As mentioned, I do think they've done irreversible damage to the brand here. People probably won't go and see the movie that otherwise would have. They've really done a lot of creators dirty. And I know that many people in my community that I speak to have already decided that's it, they're out. They don't want to play D&D anymore. They're going to give other systems a go. In that vein, in my panic, I did actually make a Kofi account with the intention of raising 50 pounds or so with the support from this loving community with the intention of buying the Pathfinder core rulebook. And I think actually we could take that incentive uh, into everything we do. So if you'd like to donate or support the channel outside of just liking, commenting and subscribing, which is the main way I want to be supported here, then you can head over to my Kofi, which I'll put a link in the description and anything you donate there, I promise now will always go towards improving this channel, whether that be equipment, books, whatever it might be, that's where all of that stuff will go. That's it, that's the video. You know, I, as I said, this is a re-recording because they released that statement. I'm feeling much more upbeat about all this than I was earlier. It's still so sad to see though. As much as this statement does calm my nerves a little bit, there are still so many unanswered questions. They've still not really said whether they're just going to deauthorize the original OGL. They also didn't mention whether the new one would be irrevocable or if they can change it or not. They're kind of dodging questions. It is still a corporate spun statement, but we have to keep asking questions and force them to be better and keep becoming better because it's still not acceptable. At this point, the only thing they can really do is completely just reverse it and say, you know what, we made a mistake, let's just go back to the original one. All is well in the world. Best of luck to Payzone and all those companies that get on board. I'm here for that. I want to learn new systems. It could be a really good time for the tabletop RPG community moving forwards. At the end of all this, I'm sticking around. This has been Nathra and Deer's Guide to Everything. Uh, look out for my next Legend Forge video, which will be on a heavily requested character, Spawn. It was really, really fun. I hope you're looking forward to that. So yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Nathra and Deer's Guide to Everything. I'll see you in the next one.